Okay, welcome back, guys. So, I had another software audio issues again. After recording, I found out that an error message cannot pop up. So, I need to redo. <coughs> I need to redo most of what's <coughs> most of what I did before. So, let's just <coughs> let me see if I can just do that quickly. So, I will start by. Deleting all these new materials I just created. Delete all of this. Um, <clears throat> let's give them back the default color. So let's just do this again. So the only thing I changed was ah. Uh, uh this is really annoying uh okay so let me just let me just show you guys let me just show you guys no step no step missed no step missed so let me just show you guys the actual settings for this so <clears throat> on the backdrop i changed the color a bit more so i can make sure it's so it can be more visible as you can see the background is no more as dark as it was before anymore so just to make it more visible so i'm using this backdrop and i named this to backdrop also so let me just show you guys the particular backdrop it is is the one without side <clears throat> without sides here so that's for that just this tone alone then for the hri for the hgri on the menu of the hgri if you scroll down under visibility, I just put this to 0.42. That's the only thing I did there because I want it to be a bit visible on the, on the render. So let me just quickly show you guys. So if I you hide this, I think I can just do it like this. So having this at the background, so you can kind of see this at the background a little bit, something like this. So if I just select this, drag this up. We drag this down. You can see how it's kind of it's not making it too visible it's obvious in the background anymore. So something let me just put this somewhere around here. Stop this. Put this somewhere around here. Something like this. That's just basically it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh yes. Crap, 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 crap. I did not bookmark, <clears throat> I did not bookmark the render. Oh man. Anyways, I didn't change anything. I did not change anything for the skin material. I just allowed it, I just allowed it render. Uh, well, I wish I bookmarked that. I wish I bookmarked that. But no worries though. See if you guys are following following long, long, you should have you should be having good results using the same settings. If I go back to the base mesh, the head mesh itself, so see the same setting. I didn't change anything. I just allowed it to render out as well. So let's zoom into this. Let's work on this. So I'll start with the outer eye. So. First thing to do on the outer, once you select, once you select it, once you select it, close this. Once you select it, come and select this in the geometry. Go to Arnold. Then just by default, it should be ticked on. Just tick it off. It's just so we can see through the glass because I'm going to be using the glass material for this. So select this and do the same thing also. Take this off. <clears throat> okay. Uh, um select this outer eye add a new material AI standard surface so i'll just try to be as fast as possible so i will just rename this to ai <coughs> outer eye OK, 
okay then we'll just come into this preset what is a glass material for this glass replace select this also let's give this a material name this to ai means okay that should be fine presets also glass then i'll just increase the roughness slightly like so maybe a bit more like around here i or our glass <coughs> no let me use oil instead this oil instead okay okay so let's select the inner eye now sign your material so this should be ai <coughs> ai ni you can name it whatever you want as so long as you know what it is all right so for this i would need to open the hyper sheet open the hyper sheet What do we have here? Let's see if I can arrange it and rearrange. Okay. Let me delete all of this. So, those, the textures I had before, I'm going to drag, drag them in again. So I want to redo this. So I'll grab all of them. I normal roughness. Drag and drop them in here. Base color. Nothing too complicated here. Just it's going to be straightforward. This here. Okay, so AI normal normal map in here. Okay, so add color to inputs, add value to normal camera. Okay. Um open this up, drag this to <clears throat> Drag the arrow to specular roughness. Okay, drag the out color to this color. <clears throat> so it's what you already is what we already have. Let me save this. Okay, you can see we can apply to this, but one thing I like to do is to for the normal normal map is a normal map node here. I like to increase this to 1.5. Just to have more intensity for it. So let's do a render again. But I think I'll temporarily hide this. Let me hide this for now. Do a quick save. Let's fire up fire up the render. Okay, stop this for now. Get this like so. Run again. Okay. Yeah, this, 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 this is fine. Do it in the air that that would have any additional light hitting on the eye. I think which we, which we might stick to add that later on, but for now, yeah, maybe I should not add that now. Let me stop, stop the, I've stopped the render already. So what I'm going to do is to add a new area light that should just be hitting on the eye only. Okay, so 
uh yes yeah, so to do that let's create an area lighting here where is the area light increase this size of this leave this up should hide ID is here for now. Raise this up. Let me do this from the top view. Scale this out some more. Um, let's get this at an angle like so. Opposite to where we where our major light source is kind of hitting the model on the side so it should be on the opposite side like this okay so there's one thing we need to do first so with the light selected i will go to where is it is it relation a relationship light linking light centric so i want this eye to be affecting to be affect where is this let me open this up. Okay. I'll turn everything off. I want this light to be to be affecting just this three models, just this I models. I will turn off everything else. Turn off everything else. Turn this off also. So it should only be affecting this three. So it's just me telling the lights. Don't work on any other models apart from these three models in here. Except for these models that are associated with the eye. Okay, so let's see what we have in our render view. What is this? Close this. Try up the render. Can't send anything in here. Can't send anything in here. Stop the render. Select the AI, the area lights. Samples are set to two. Turn off normalize. Increase the brightness, intensity of the light. Let's put it around four. Do this again. Can see now it's affecting the model. Okay. We increase this slightly like so. I think we can just so let's bring back the HRI. Okay. Visible to camera. I don't want to be visible to camera. Oh. Stop this. Undo. I want this to be for the for the area lights instead. Visibility. Um. Strong this list what we have. So I don't kind of carry this. Is there a bit ton of reflection here? Reflection, reflection, reflection. Uh, to be specular, let's turn this off. Mm. You need to do a little more of that. Something like not too obvious. Something like this should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, I'll stop this for now. Save this file. 
So the next we need to do is to give this some SSS. Give this material SSS. No, the inner eye. To the inner eye. So open the software based card frame, take this all the way up. Random walk. Let's try 0 0.1 in here. Then this change is okay, is there already? One, it should be 0 0.35, 35. Then it should be 0 0.20. Okay, then on the hyper shade, on the hyper shade, we need, we need the out color. Out color should be plugged into subsurface color. Let me make sure this is on raw. Wait, it's not even on raw. So please, please put this on raw. So let this roughness map put on raw. Turn off. Alpha, turn on alpha is luminous. This is also this is not also on row. What's going on? It did not turn that on. Row also. Alpha is luminous. Okay. Okay. It should be good now. Save this. Let's do another render. Let's see what we have. Okay, now we're having an eye that is way too bright. It's way too bright. Stop. On the area lights, let's um. Take this down to let's see maybe just a bit more three Well, let's look at this close up. Let's get a close up on this. Let me stop this for now. Do a quick save. Need a close up on this. I'll hide the outer eye and meniscus for, for this. Let's kind of see the details in there properly. Gets in here because this is done for this, <clears throat> so this might take a little while to render. What I don't really like is this you can't really see it on any of the background. This year, I found can't really see the normal map working here accurately. Stop this. Uh, put this. Okay. Um. Better still. Okay, I'll put this at two first. Select this. Then the let me put the I O R here. Uh, skin subsurface. I will soon take this down. Let me see. Let's try the same 0 0.05. We have for the word for the skin. On this again. Okay. Can't really see the details for the. Can't see the details. 
17,000 for you, right? Okay. Yeah, let me zero this out first. Zero that out. Stop this for now. I'm just gonna check if my normal map is working properly. Plug this to base color. Again. Okay, it's actually working. Let's all the way up again. Let's see. It's actually working, but not very obvious in there. Maybe I should be taking this down. Try it three. Okay. Stop this render for now. Let's bring this back out with the head also back out. Bring back the AGRI for this. Okay. So setting here for visible something camera something with it. Area lights display. Uh, extra. It's supposed to be set in some way. Kind of camera camera visibility. Because I know if I should if I should do a render okay. Now great. Now we see obvious <clears throat> obvious problem in here. The eye is just too bright, so let me focus on the eye only. So area lights. Put this to one. Hmm. Okay. Let me hide the set for now. Okay. Yeah, it feels feels a odd. Feels a bit odd. Completely hide this. Save this. Do another render. Turn this off. Maybe do do if okay. Let's do that. Stop this for now. Let's try something in here. Let's get the Asia light facing us a bit more. Okay, let, let me just do a duplicate of it. Let me do a duplicate of the Asia lights. So I hide Asia one. Ah, is this is this even working? Is this even working? Fantastic. We've got nothing. So I'll delete that. Try 
create another Israelite uh, increase the samples I want to try a different Israelite in here this is the one we use so I'm going to try this, try the second one Try the other easy array. Uh, should be this one. Oh, uh, it should be this one. So I'll zoom out like so. Okay, so the light is directly on this side. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, do a quick save. Draw the render view again. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. Yeah, that definitely gives definitely gives some more life to the eye as you can see. The eye feels a lot better with this light setup, at least from the light coming from the left hand side. Some highlights on the eye. Uh, let's um, stop this for now. This year, let me rotate this, rotate this this way a bit more. So it's almost like directly on his face, kind of be yeah, an angle like this. But the brightness is way too much, so I'm going to go like point six instead. Let's go back in here. Phone scan. Let me bookmark this. Let's do a snapshot rather. Now nah, let's stop this. Take this all the way back to one. Add this up again. Just visualize this is um, light is too bright. Stop this for now. This is zero point eight. Zero point eight. Stop. Like this is a very good one. So how? Let me stop this so and save this file. So I'll come back when this is done. So this will be enough for at least rendering the eye and getting a good eye set up in here, which is fine. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.